What a do, what a do, what a do. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yeah. What a do, what a do, what a do, half and J family. Welcome back to the channel, baby. Yes. It's your boy, Half. And your girl, Jim. And we back with, with another, another reaction video. video. All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel. Yes, welcome back, welcome back. We're about to jump into some more reactions today. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Happy yes. Sunday, too, by the way. Yes. You know what I mean? To everybody. How everybody doing today? All right, that's good to hear. That's good to hear. How are you doing today? I am blessed. That's How what are I'm you? talking about. I am absolutely 100% blessed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Feeling amazing. Yes. You know? So, with that being said, you ready? Absolutely. Y'all ready? Okay. No. We'll let them know who we react to today. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so shout out to Doug in Exile. What's up, Doug? Shout in out Exile. to Big Doug. Yes. In Exile. Oh. The video. The video is titled "Judge Ingeron and New York AG Letitia James Destroyed New York as They Go After Trump." I guess you know what AG do mean, right? What is it? Attorney General. Oh, okay. Just, just, I was just, wondering. Just to fill you in. I was wondering. So, let's get into it. But before we do, everybody that's out there who has not yet subscribed to that channel, uh, go ahead and hit subscribe button. Yes. Turn your notifications on. Yes. You gotta like him and share this video. Yes. Oh. Mm. And then comment down below, baby. Come and join the squad, man. <laughs> yes. Please. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my. She's trying to help you get a value here, too. Ooh, yes, you, know you guys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> it's been a while since we've heard from wait, Judge Angeron. No, no. Did we just do the good vibes? We didn't do it. Huh? We didn't do it. Oh, because <laughs> you just started the <laughs> I, video. You know, you know, <laughs> what happened? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm not in that big of a hurry. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's what you want to do. Where we leave off at? Yeah, they goodbye, baby. Goodbye. Sure. Okay. It's done over there, though. It is, what happened? It's just, I don't know. Bradley. It's all good. Oh. They did it for us, though. It's been a while since we've heard from you know. Judge Angeron, known as Judge Nudie, for huh? posing without a shirt on. This gross, what disgusting, anti-Trump Marxist criminal judge. Um, remember, he's the one who initially, under Letitia James, went after Trump and just said, you get no jury. I decided you're guilty already. And we'll be taking, oh, $500 million worth. These people are criminals. These people are terrible. All of these people going after Trump's money, E. Jean Carroll, Alvin Bragg going after uh, Trump with the Stormy Daniels stuff. These are criminals. So now Judge Angeron has to get ahead of Trump and his truth social merger. We have the headline here at Business Insider. I've already said this yesterday. It's not going to work because in the end, when Trump becomes president, he's going to fix all this. And frankly, he values being president even more than he values his money anyways. Money is abstract. Money is limited. Money can only do so much. Money can't free you. And your money is worthless if the judge is trying to take it from you and you have money or property in New York. It will be confiscated from you, so it doesn't even matter. It's an illusion that you even own it if you have a corrupt state. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenapel. This is where the happy patriots are. And we're going to keep championing Trump winning this election so that we all can have property rights one day and we all can keep our money in our states. Right now, New York is defunct. As a state, New York, this is Venezuela. Okay. How New York, this is from Business Insider, a liberal rag, how New York's Judge Angeron is tightening the leash on Trump ahead of looming truth social merger and fraud judgment deadline. Remember, Trump is a owner of uh, Truth Social, we, and now it's, if it goes public, he's, he's going to be worth about $3.2 billion he'll get just from that ownership of that company. With the cash hit of $400 million fraud judgment debt and the cash boon of a potential multi-million dollar SPAC merger, both looming this week, Donald Trump's finances are in a tailspin. Wishful thinking. The 
Business Insider. His actual his finances are fine. He can make money all day. It's the states are attacking him and stealing money and assets and redistributing them. Shareholders are scheduled to vote Friday on a merger that would bring Truth Social's parent company public. Trump's stake, according to the Wall Street Journal, could be worth roughly $3.5 billion. I believe it's even going to be worth more than that. I actually think it's going to be worth about $4.5 to $5 billion. Mm. And you can mark mark this uh, this this uh, video here. That's my prediction. It will be worth over five billion Trump share. Okay. Coincidentally, That's his great. finances will now be scrutinized like never before. On Thursday, the judge who set a massive four hundred fifty four million judgment in Trump's New uh, York civil fraud case last month. It has risen uh, three million in interest since. Issued five pages of rules for the, yeah, quote, enhanced court-imposed... He said it grew three million in interest since. Mm -hmm. ...civil fraud case last month. It has risen uh, three million in interest since. Issued five pages of rules for the, yeah, quote, enhanced court-imposed monitoring of the Trump organization. Effective immediately, Trump org must give Barbara Jones a retired federal judge who's been Trump's court-ordered monitor since November 2022, <clears throat> specific advance notice of big shifts in the company's assets or structure. The judge, State Supreme Court Justice Arthur Engeron, that's the goon, that's Judge Nudie, that's the imbecile, uh, Judge Arthur Engeron, had warned a month ago in the February verdict that there would be exactly the kind of leash tightening that Thursday's order now sets for Trump and his fiscal babysitters under the order Trump must give five days advance notice of any transfer of cash or other assets totaling five million or more, including transfers to any individual defendant. It happens to be five days before Trump's March 25th deadline to pay his fraud judgment to New York in full or failing that to set the money aside for his appeals, which, you know, guys, he doesn't have enough money. No one's going to back this this bond for this appeal to cover $500 million. No one can. Okay. In the form of an appeal bond totaling the full amount plus millions more in interest. Trump has said he cannot afford a bond. Under Thursday's order, Trump must also give the monitor 30 days notice of any planned creation or dissolution of business entities, including equity ownership, purchased or assets acquired by any defendant. The judge further ordered on Thursday, there are currently 415 entities, including the LLCs, holding his physical properties under the Trump org umbrella. If I was Trump, I would say, you know what? This whole company is owned by Melania. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I don't know anything about this company anymore. Truth Social was owned by Melania. Okay, this is very quick. Look, I'm not even mic'd or anything. I've got this Truth Social post by Trump. I'm interrupting this video just to slam this in because you guys deserve some bonus up-to-date information. Let's read this real quick. Donald Trump, real Donald Trump, through hard work, Talent and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash, a substantial amount of which I intended to use in my campaign for president. The often overturned political hack judge on the rigged and corrupt AG case, where I have done nothing wrong, knew this and wanted to take it away from me. And that's where and why he came up with the shocking number which coupled with his crazy interest demand is approximately $454 million. I did nothing wrong except win an election in 2016 that I wasn't expected to win. Did even better in 2020 and now lead by a lot in 2024. This is communism in America, writes Trump. And now back to the article. The, the judge also ordered on Thursday that Trump uh, foot the bill for the additional staff needed for this extra monitoring. <laughs> They're going, Trump, we need more monitoring, and you're going to pay for it. What are these? These people are bums. Engeron's a bum. Has he ever earned an honest dime in his life? Has he ever created anything? I mean, Trump's made Trump stakes. He's made Trump ties. What's Engeron done? 
but been a leech, a welfare leech on the system. <laughs> just sucking in tax dollars. Same with Letitia James. See? Just a do nothing, you've created nothing, you've made nothing leech. I create cartoon turkeys. I make happy milk turkeys. I make cereal box turkeys. I make comic books. I make paintings. I write things. I make video games. I've made product. I make stuff. And then it gets sent out into the public, and the public either buys it and likes it, or they say, no, we don't respect what you made. We don't buy it. Okay? Millions of people have bought my stuff and love what I make. But Letitia James makes nothing. This is a welfare monster. <laughs> She's a monster. Trump, everybody, it is not safe to have your assets in New York. It is not safe to be a Republican and have your assets in New York. It's not safe. And Trump, you're going to lose everything that is in New York, including your freedom. You're going to go to prison. That's what, that is the cost for being a Republican or a conservative in New York having a business. All businessmen, if your family is there, if your business is there, if your assets are there, if your property is there, you do not have a right to it. If it's in New York, you got to move it to a safe state. Go to Florida, go to Tennessee, go to Texas. I got nothing for you. Same thing if you're in California. You're in trouble, my people. That's what we think now. Unless Trump wins and we can break some furniture with his win. I hope he goes in and clears out all of these fraud judges. He does a massive investigation on him. Massive political backlash. Throw his opponents in prison. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Should Trump not throw these people in prison? Use his office to hunt them like dogs. I'm Doug in exile. It's Doug went in on that one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Caught him leeches, though. He caught her a welfare monster. A welfare <laughs> monster, though. That's crazy uh, right there, though. Mm -hmm. Say leech. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? What have you done? What have you made? What have you... You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm wondering where was the judge sending his shirtless pictures to? Who was he sending them to? I don't know. He was emailing somebody. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He probably faxed them over though. Mm. You feel me from the fax <laughs> for the fax machine? He's probably all on the fax machine. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, like, damn mm. man. Ooh. Yeah. Mm. It is crazy how they came up with that number of four hundred and. What was it, fifty-four million dollars? Like, come on, man. Where y'all come with that number at? Like, where y'all even get that from? Yeah. You know? Y'all can't even count that high, but y'all, you know, four hundred yeah, stop it. Yeah. Stop it. That's just that's just stupid. That is insane. Mm hmm You know, and it's sad that, you know, what Doug is saying is you got business in New York, you know, how they trying to do people out there with the business in New York. Right. You know? Right. That's just crazy. You know, but that's why the economy is the way it is right now, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, even big businesses that's living out in California, some of them is moving out of state. Oh, yeah. Just to save on taxes and stuff like that. It's how high taxes are in California. It just don't make no sense. It, like, it doesn't really make no sense. And I can see if, you know what I'm saying, the tax money was actually going somewhere mm -hmm. and actually doing some good, you know what I'm saying, in the communities, in the streets. And, you know what I'm saying, you got, you know, crosswalks lit up, you know what I'm saying, things like that, so it could be more safe for people to cross on the streets and bus stops are lit up and, you know what I mean, no things like holes. that. Yeah, no <laughs> potholes. And, okay, then cool, I can understand. You know what I mean? Like, I don't mind paying some taxes with the stuff that's right. You know, I can walk out my door and, and, and ain't got to worry about spraining my ankle. You know what I mean? Turn the ACL, come step in the potholes or something. You know what I mean? Okay. So, I'm just saying, though. You know. <laughs> but anyway, y'all comment down below, man, if y'all feel like this, uh, this one was a good one. Hey, matter of fact, y'all in Cali, and y'all feel like the taxes is high out here, thumbs up in the comment section. Because it's stupid high. It don't even make right. no sense. You feel right. Me? Real it talk. really is. Okay, ain't buy no toothpaste nowadays. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. What? But anyway, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Let's get to some shout outs, though. Oh, man. Mm. Okay, so. Excuse me. First shout out goes to Mr. Creator CC. What's up, Mr. Creator CC? Mr. Creator CC, what's going on? Shout out to you. Hope you definitely enjoyed that reaction. Let us know where you live at. How are your taxes out there? Like, are they high, are they low, are they good? Right. You know what I'm saying? Let us know. Yes. Second shout out goes to 
Cooking with Dimples. What's up, Cooking with Dimples? Cooking with Dimples, huh? Shout out to you. Hope you definitely enjoyed that as well. Let us know what you thought about it. Mm -hmm. Also, let us know where you stay in, too, and how the tax rate out there to, for you. Yes. Is it high, low? Is it good? Is it okay? And if it is high, are they at least doing things in the community and things like that, making a difference with the tax money? Mm -hmm. You did? I did. All right. We out this day? Yes. All right, we love y'all, man. Yes, we do. Peace and hair grease. Yes. Don't forget, keep God first. Most importantly. And we'll catch you guys in the next reaction video. Yes. Peace. Peace.